In this video, I'm going to talk about dot plot and box and whisker plot, and also talk about the the shape of the data. Okay, so here, this is a data of the length of uh, 20 leaves collected by Sarah from an indoor plant. Okay, the lengths are in nearest millimeters. So the first question is display the data in a dot plot. Now before we draw the dot plot, uh, this is the graph of the dot plot. So let us arrange them in the ascending order. So arranging in ascending order. So let us write the ascending order. So ascending order is from the lowest uh, to the highest or from the minimum to the maximum. So the lowest that I can say is 28. So you can write cross out 28. Then I can see uh, the next value is 29. You've got 29, which is the next value. You've got 30, you've got 31, you have got 33. Okay, you've got 30, then you've got 31, then you've got 33. Then I can see 34, uh, yes, 34. Then you can see 36, 37, 38 twice. 38 twice. You got 38 here and one more 38. You got 37, you got 36. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'll write the next row of 10, which is 41. You got 41. How many 41s you got? 241, I think. So you've got 41 here. And where's the other 41? Here's 41. Uh, then how many 42s do you have? You've got one, uh, two 42s, no, three 43, 42. So 42, 42, and 42. Okay. Then how many 43s? You've got one 43. How many 44s? This is 44. This is a bit laborious, 44. Then do you have any 45, 46? I can't see any 45, 46. You can directly see 51. How many 51s do you have? You have got uh, 151 here. Uh, okay, and one more 51. So this is 251s and 153. So this is the 10. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now to dot plot is very simple. You simply plot the points. The lowest is 28. So you plot a point here. So this is 28. You got 29. Then you got a 30. You got a 31. You got 33. You got 34. 36, 37, 38, you got two 38, so you'll put one over the other. So then you got two 42, so you got one, two, three 42s, no, two 42, sorry, you got, oops, you got two 42s, then you have got three 43, so 42s, 1, 2, 3, uh, 143, 44, 251s, and a 53. That's it. So this is simple uh, dot plot of the leaves that Sarah collected. Now we need to draw the box and whisker. Now for box and whisker, you can draw by calculating these five measures, or not calculating, finding. You don't have to calculate yet, only locate them. So the minimum is the lowest value, which is 28, which is simple. Your maximum is your highest value, which is 53. Your median is the middlemost value. So you've got 20 values here. So I can say n is the 20th value, or 20 values, 20 data points, or 20 observations you have. So your Median, or this is also called the second quartile. Q2 stands for the second quartile. So when there are 20 values, 
the median will be between the 19th, sorry, between the 10th and the 11th value. So you got 10 values in the first row and 10 values in the second row. So to find the median, you find the average of the 10th and the 11th value. So this is your 10th value and this is your 11th value. So to find the median, you find the average of these two. So I'll add 38 plus 41. You have to first add them and then divide by 2, which is 79, which is 79 divided by 2. 79 divided by 2, which is 30. 9.5 so you can have a 39.5 your median comes somewhere here or this is your median this is you can see graphically comes exactly in the middle you've got 10 to the left and 10 to the right median is in the middle your lower quartile is the middle of the lower half so you've got 10 values this is your lower half so your top row is your lower half so middle comes between the fifth and the sixth value. You got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five to the right. So the middle between the fifth and the sixth value is very simple. Between 33 and 34 would be 34.5. Just to show you. So 34.5 would come somewhere here. Isn't it exactly here? 34.5 is here. You got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay, uh, 33.5, that was 33.5, so it's good to, so between 33 and 34 would be 33.5, so 33.5, so let me delete this, 33.5 comes here, isn't it, 33.5 is, yeah. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So can you see this is how much percent I want you to think. And your upper quartile is the middle of the lower half. Okay, so the middle of the lower half is between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, between 42 and 43, which is 42.5. Between This is 42.5. So 42.5 comes here. Okay, so this gives you also an understanding of uh, of what happens or how is the data spread out, okay, or the shape of the data. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So this is your upper quartile. This is your upper quartile. This is your median. This is your lower quartile. This is your lowest value, and this is your highest value. Okay, now to draw the box and whisker plot, you have to just do, uh, I have written the, uh, I need to remove this because I want to discuss this uh, separately. Okay, so yeah, to draw the box and whisker, you have to show the minimum is 28. So this is your 28 here. And this is your 53 year. Okay, so these are your whiskers. Okay, and uh, you have got a box here, boxes between. Uh, so your lower quartile is 33.5. So this is your box. Your box starts at the lower quartile, and the upper quartile is 42.5. So this is thus the end of the box. Okay, so this is your box. This is your box. You can draw a better box here, and the median is 39.5. So median is 39.5, yeah. So this is good enough. So this is your box and whisker plot. Okay, now yeah, if you want to describe the shape of the graph, can you see that, that if you look at the, if you take to the left of the, if you go to the left of the box, and if you compare the left of the box and the right of the box, or from the median, so this is your median. This is your left of the box, left of median and right of median. Now if you take the data on the right of median, they're all almost together. You've got 
three, five, six, seven, very close to the median, whereas on the left of the median, they are all spread out uh, comparatively. They are spread out compared to the right. Okay, so how will you describe it mathematically? So here we can say, let us describe this like this. The, the data on the left of, the data on the left, on the left or to the left to the left that's a better word of instead of saying on the left the data to the left of median to the left of median is more spread out more spread out compared to compared to the data the data or the observation to the right of medium to the right of the medium Okay, so I'll repeat this again. So when you look at the median, when you compare, when you look, compare the data to the left and to the right, here you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or seventy percent is uh, very is around median and upper quartile. So this is clustered very close to the median, whereas this is much spread out to the left. So this is the Therefore, we can say, this is what we say, so the data is negatively skewed. So the data is, this is a technical word, negatively skewed. Now, negatively skewed is what we have written. So this, if you write this technical word, it sounds to be flash, it sounds to be good. Negatively skewed means the data to the left of median is more spread out compared to the data to the right.